What's up my quarantined friends? I'm gonna show you how to cut your own hair. Now I haven't done this in about 15 years. Uh, I hope I can do it still. All right, so these are my tools I got. I got, I got this little wall. It's kind of like a, a shorty, like usually for beards. I got the regular wall clippers. Got my assortment of, of uh, guards there. And I got my ball razor edger. This is to do the lineups. All right. So the first thing I do is I try to break this up into three real zones. You got the side zone, which goes around the sides in the back. And you got the top, and then in between you got kind of like the transition zone. So you gotta, you gotta kind of do different techniques for each one of those. The top of my hair is really not all that long. I might not even cut it. I'll figure it out once I do the sides and the transition. All right, let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna start, I'm not gonna go too low actually. I'm gonna see what this is. All right, I'm gonna start with a one. Screw it, we're going all out. Okay, so the sides are pretty easy because you can see in the mirror. It's when you have to do one of these that starts uh, Starts getting freaky. So, the technique here is you cannot uncut your hair. So don't go too high to begin with. You're probably gonna transition with some other guards. So don't go too high to begin with. Ready? And so you see how I did that little flip up? That's what you wanna do. You wanna do the flip up. Flip up, flip up, flip up, pull the ear. Flip up, flip up, flip up, flip up. All right, see how that flip up kind of creates a transition in itself. Okay, make sure you get around the ear. All right, if you have cauliflower ear like me, it might be hard to pull it back, but do the best you can. Okay, time to do this side. Now the flip up technique's a little different. If you're ambidextrous, it's a lot easier, but I'm not. All right, so we've done the sides. We haven't gotten to the transition. You can see kind of a little line there. We're not there yet. All we've done is cut the sides down. All right. This is where it gets real interesting. Okay, so if you look at the back of your head, you can see where the transition, if you haven't, if you had a haircut fairly recently, you can kind of see where the hair starts to transition. About right here, okay? Everything below here, is gonna be kind of like the size. So just kind of like draw a line on your head and feel where that is, okay? If you haven't done this a, a lot, draw that line so you can feel where the transition is supposed to start. And then you just start using, you don't really even need to look as long as you remember where that line was, okay? Now you're gonna to have to switch to this position. See how I'm holding that? All right. See how I'm still doing the flippy flip? Ooh, that felt a little high. I might have to go for a high and tight. Be careful. You don't want to go too high. Now, you probably missed a few spots, so go back to your double mirror. Okay, got a mirror over here, got a mirror here. Yep, see that line there? I missed it. Okay, so I want to... I actually like mine a little higher. Okay, so we pretty much got, and then I like to double check that I make sure I got everything there. Okay. 
Okay. Got most of it. So now what you do is take your one off, go to your two, okay? Now, your head is on a curve, okay? What you really should do is keep blending, but almost in a straight up, okay? Don't follow the curve of your head, go straight up, okay? See how I'm doing that? Still kind of doing that little flip up, okay? That'll start getting you, oh yeah, look at that. Okay, see in the back. All right, now, there's another way of doing this, and you can use one of these flat combs, okay? You see that? Nice and flat. And you can do one of these, just like the barber does. Actually, good barbers don't even need to use this. But if you have a line, see how this is kind of not a good transition, okay? All right, now if you look from the side, you can see that those little hair sticking up. You can take your clippers and go like this. If you're doing this on yourself, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. People don't, people don't have the coordination to look in a mirror and see whatever's backwards to do that, unless you've done it quite a bit. I don't even think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna go back to the, uh, go back to the one, okay? And kind of clean that up. This side actually looks pretty good. This side looks kind of funky. The other thing you can do is you can keep this straight up and down. I'm gonna have to use this mirror because I'm turning towards you. All right. I can keep this straight up and down and kind of, okay. All right, the key here is to get a good transition from the one to the two or the two to the three or the three to the four, okay? So start with the one, go to the two, go to the three, go to the four if you need to. It's all coming back to me. All right, now you go from your two. Sometimes I don't even, I skip, I skip a few, like I'll go to the four, let's see what that does. And just take it up a little bit higher on your head. I don't even hear it cutting. I don't hear it cutting, so that means that my hair is even shorter than the four right there. Let's go to the three. See that technique I'm doing with the flip up? That's basically, uh, if you get that technique down, you're pretty much good. Now if you screw all this up, just go bald. Who gives a shit? Or wear a hat. Now the back, I've done this enough that I can kind of feel. I know where my hair starts to get a little bit longer. Now, I usually don't do this, but I am gonna do it for your sake. If your hair is really long on top, mine isn't. I could probably just stay like this and just style it if I wanted to. 
But if your hair is really long on top and you need to cut it, dude, start with like, like this goes all the way up to eight. Don't screw around with, if you've never done this before, don't screw around with the technique of how you normally would cut hair if you're doing it on somebody else. You're just gonna have to look a little shaggy and a little funky during quarantine times. But I've seen other people out there, they look like crap, so you're probably gonna look at least better than them. So what I'm gonna do is, all right, the other thing you can do is you can check, right? See where the, uh, see where the guard is. So this is an eight, right? It's pretty long actually. And you can feel the hair poking through. Like my hair right now is pretty much past an eight. Ooh, look at that, it's sticking up. <laughs> Reminds me of 90210. All right, so you can feel if the hair is sticking through. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it even cuts anything, okay? I look down and see how much is cutting off, okay? So you can see how much is cutting off. Not really a whole lot. I'm just kind of trimming the longer hairs. And I'm not even messing with the front, all right? Notice how I'm just kind of halfway back. Because typically your hair gets longer towards the front if you have a style of haircut like I do. If you've got something else, dude, you're screwed. Just do something else. Small increments until you get it until you get it the length you want it. Actually, the last guy that cut my hair cut it a little bit longer back here than I like it. I didn't really notice until I got home, but so right here is usually longer. I like more of a military cut where it's even more faded. So I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna go back to a six. Yeah, I said it, back to a six. All right, I'm gonna take that down a little bit. So the other thing I do sometimes is, all right, so normally you cut hair like this, right? Sometimes I bring it up like this, all right? All that does is raise the blade up. You see how that works? Okay, so sometimes I just start like this to see if you can hear it cutting. And if you can hear it cutting, all right, then you can start coming down if you want to. If you're bald, like male pattern baldness, this is really easy, just cut the sides. You're still gonna look like a bald dude. Sorry, bald guys. Yeah. All right, so then, always check. Okay, because no matter how many times you've done this, it starts looking. Okay, see, I, I, I don't really like how long that is right there. Okay, that's from my last haircut. I'm gonna cut that off. Here it goes. Have to go shorter. Bring out the five. Not a bad little fade, kind of a little dip in the back. So some people, all right, here's what I'm talking about. Some people like the fade line to go straight across, okay? Some people like that little dip in the back. I usually don't. I usually don't like that little dip in the back. But it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look too bad. So, I'm just gonna leave it for now.
hopefully in a couple weeks, a regular barber can fix it. Now, we're not done, okay? This is a 1 16th inch, 15 millimeter, real close. What I use this for, right? What I do is I come around the line. Okay, see what I'm doing there? I'm just coming around the line and make sure there's no long hairs. You want to come up. Okay, now go to the back right here. So the transition from neck to all the way up, okay? All right, here's another thing. So there's this little lever here, okay? Close, long, close, long, okay? For this part, start with the long out, all right? What we're doing is we're kind of fading the neckline a little bit. If you do that close enough, you really won't even need to do a lot. All right, so people like me sometimes have, so usually when a barber cuts your hair, right, he gives you a line and then he cuts all this to the bare skin, right? But if you use this, that attachment, sometimes you can get it close enough that you really can't tell the neck hairs, all right? This is actually the hardest part. To try to get a line by yourself is kind of hard. I'm almost even tempted not, I haven't done, like I said, I haven't done this in like 15 years. So I'm not even gonna try it. I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is take the neck, the neck hairs. Once you get those neck hairs off, just go back to that super, super thin one and take it down back to the close shave by turning the lever and then just go over that real close and nobody will tell. All right, there you have it. Not too bad, it's a little long, but it's good enough for now. I was just worried more about the sides today. When you start doing the front, some people like it different lengths, so your mileage may vary. That's how you give yourself a Corona haircut. So hopefully my barber friends are back in a couple weeks and they can fix whatever it is that you mess up. So, uh, see ya.